A. Listen, point, and say. 1. Mobile phone. 2. Ringing phone. 3. Battery. 4. Phone charger. 5. Flea market. Mobile phone. Mobile phone. Ringing phone. Ringing phone. Battery. Battery. Phone charger. Phone charger. Flea market. Flea market. B. 1. Listen and read. Lucy's mobile phone is ringing. Hmm, Lucy's phone. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Lucy, please? Okay, who's calling, please? It's Daisy. Okay, Daisy, wait a minute, please. Thanks, Alfie. Hello, Lucy speaking. Oh, hi, Daisy. Oh, a flea market? Lucy is calling her friend, Jane. Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Jane, please? Who's calling, please? It's Lucy. Oh, hi, Lucy. Wait a minute, please. Oh, no. My phone battery is dead. Where's my phone charger? It's okay, Lucy. I can charge your phone. Oh, sorry, Lucy. Oh, Alfie. I'm going to Jane's house. B. 2. Listen and number. Look at the pictures. Listen. There is one example. One. Hmm, Lucy's phone. Hello? Can you see number one? This is an example. Now listen and number. Two. Hi, can I speak to Lucy, please? Okay, who's calling, please? It's Daisy. Okay, Daisy, wait a minute, please. Thanks, Alfie. Hello, Lucy speaking. Oh, hi, Daisy. Oh, a flea market? Three. Lucy is calling her friend, Jane. Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Jane, please? Who's calling, please? It's Lucy. Four. Oh no! My phone battery is dead. Where's my phone charger? It's okay, Lucy. I can charge your phone. Oh, sorry, Lucy. Oh, Alfie. I'm going to Jane's house. B. 3. Practice the structure. Hello? Hi. Can I speak to Lucy, please? Who's calling, please? It's Daisy. Okay. Wait a minute, please. Hello? Hi. Can I speak to Lucy, please? Who's calling, please? It's Daisy. Okay. Wait a minute, please. C. Listen. Sing along. Hi. Can I 
I speak to Lucy, please? Hi, can I speak to Lucy, please? Who's calling, please? Who's calling, please? It's Daisy. It's Daisy. Okay, wait a minute, please. Okay, wait a minute, please. Hi, can I speak to Nick, please? Hi, can I speak to Nick, please? Who's calling, please? Who's calling, please? It's Jill. It's Jill. Okay, wait a minute, please. Okay, wait a minute, please. Pronunciation tip. Who's calling, please? Who's calling, please? Who's calling, please? Now, listen again and say. Who's calling, please? Who's calling, please? Who's calling, please? A. Listen, point, and say. 1. Clean my room. 2. Do my homework. 3. Do my chores. 4. Go shopping. 5. Babysit. Clean my room. Clean my room. Do my homework. Do my homework. Do my chores. Do my chores. Go shopping. Go shopping. Babysit. 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 B. 1. Listen and read. Lucy invites her friends to the flea market. Do you want to go to the flea market, Jane? Sorry, I can't. I have to do my chores. Oh, okay. Hi, Cody. Do you want to go to the flea market with me? That sounds great. Come on, let's ask Jill. Hey Jill, do you want to go to the flea market today? Oh, I'm sorry Lucy. I can't today. I have to do my homework. Oh, okay. Bye. Let's ask Charlie. Hello Charlie. Do you want to go to the flea market with us? That sounds awesome. Let's go. Charlie, you have to clean your room. <sighs> B. 2. Listen and put a tick or a cross in the box. Look at the pictures. Listen. There is one example. 1. Do you want to go to the flea market, Jane? Sorry, I can't. I have to do my chores. Oh, okay. Can you see the cross? This is an example. Now listen and put a tick or a cross in the box. 2. Hi, Cody. Do you want to go to the flea market with me? That sounds great. Come on, let's ask Jill. 
Three. Hey, Jill. Do you want to go to the flea market today? Oh, I'm sorry, Lucy. I can't today. I have to do my homework. Oh, okay. Bye. Let's ask Charlie. Four. Hello, Charlie. Do you want to go to the flea market with us? That sounds awesome. Let's go. Charlie, you have to clean your room. <sighs> B. Three. Practice the structure. Do you want to go to the flea market? That sounds awesome. Sorry, I can't. I have to do my chores. Do you want to go to the flea market? That sounds awesome. Sorry, I can't. I have to do my chores. C. Listen. Sing along. Do you wanna go to the flea market? Do you wanna go to the flea market? Sorry, I can't. I have to clean my room. Sorry, I can't. I have to clean my room. Do you wanna go to the park? Do you wanna go to the park? That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. Do you wanna go to the beach? Do you wanna go to the beach? Sorry, I can't. I have to do my homework. Sorry, I can't. I have to do my homework. Do you wanna go to the zoo? Do you wanna go to the zoo? That sounds great. That sounds great. Do you wanna go to the movies? Do you wanna go to the movies? Sorry, I can't. I have to do my chores. Sorry, I can't. I have to do my chores. Do you wanna go shopping? Do you wanna go shopping? That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. Do you wanna go to the swimming pool? Do you wanna go to the swimming pool? Sorry, I can't. I have to babysit. Sorry, I can't. I have to babysit. Pronunciation tip. In natural English, do you want to sounds like do you wanna? Listen. Do you wanna go to the park? Do you wanna go to the park? Do you wanna go to the park? Now listen again and say. Do you wanna go to the park? Do you want to go to the park? Do you want to go to the park? A. Listen. Point and say. One, always. Two, usually. Three, sometimes. Four, rarely. Five, never. One, always. Two, usually. Three, sometimes. Four, rarely. Five, never. Always. Usually. Sometimes. Rarely. Never. B. One. Listen and read. Sam talks about what he does for fitness. Yay! Let's go to the pool. 
Welcome to the Greenwood Sports Center. First, some questions. Are you healthy, Mr. Brown? Yes, I am. Okay. How often do you play tennis? Um, I rarely play tennis. And how often do you eat fruit, Mr. Brown? Oh, I... well, I sometimes eat fruit. Sometimes? Okay. And pizza? How often do you eat pizza? Well, I usually eat pizza. Last one. How often do you go running? Um... I never go running. Try running in the park later, Mr. Brown. Okay. Later that day... Come on, Mr. Brown. You can do it, Dad. Ah! Oh, no! B. 2. Listen and draw lines. Look at the pictures. Listen. There is one example. One. Yay! Let's go to the pool! Welcome to the Greenwood Sports Center. First, some questions. Are you healthy, Mr. Brown? Yes, I am. Okay. How often do you play tennis? Um, I rarely play tennis. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now listen and draw lines. Two. And how often do you eat fruit, Mr. Brown? Oh, I... well, I sometimes eat fruit. Sometimes? Okay. Three. And pizza? How often do you eat pizza? Well, I usually eat pizza. Four. Last one. How often do you go running? Um... I never go running. Try running in the park later, Mr. Brown. Okay. Later that day... Come on, Mr. Brown. You can do it, Dad. Ah! B. 3. Practice the structure. How often do you play tennis? I sometimes play tennis after school. How often do you play tennis? I sometimes play tennis after school. C. Listen. Sing along. How often do you eat fruit? How often do you eat fruit? I always eat fruit after lunch. I always eat fruit after lunch. How often do you eat vegetables? How often do you eat vegetables? I usually eat vegetables for dinner. I usually eat vegetables for dinner. How often do you play badminton? How often do you play badminton? I sometimes play badminton after school. I sometimes play badminton after school. How often do you play computer games? How often do you play computer games? I rarely play computer games. I rarely play computer games. How often do you play volleyball? How often do you play volleyball? I never play volleyball. I never play volleyball. Pronunciation tip. In natural English, do you sounds like do you listen. How often do you play tennis? How often do you play tennis? How often do you play tennis? 
Now listen again and say. How often do you play tennis? How often do you play tennis? How often do you play tennis? A. Listen, point, and say. 1. Ankle. 2. Back. 3. Shoulder. 4. Neck. 5. Elbow. Ankle. Back. Shoulder. Neck. Elbow. Ankle. B. 1. Listen and read. And find Sam in the hospital. Oh, Sam, what happened? First, I jumped and hurt my ankle. Just your ankle? Look at you. Then what happened? Then he hit a tree and hurt his elbow. Oh, Sam. And then what happened? Then, a coconut fell and hurt his neck. Yeah, that hurt. <sighs> Is that all? Then what happened? Finally, he fell in the mud and hurt his back. Wow. What about you, kids? Are you okay? Yeah, Mom. The sports club was great. Yeah, yeah sports club. B. 2. Listen and number. Look at the pictures. Listen. There is one example. 1. Oh, Sam! What happened? First, I jumped and hurt my ankle. Can you see number one? This is an example. Now listen and number two. Just your ankle? Look at you. Then what happened? Then he hit a tree and hurt his elbow. Oh, Sam. Three. And then what happened? Then a coconut fell and hurt his neck. Yeah, that hurt. <sighs> Four. Is that all? Then what happened? Finally, he fell in the mud and hurt his back. Wow. What about you, kids? Are you okay? Yeah, Mom. The sports club was great. Yeah, yeah sports club. <laughs> B. 3. Practice the structure. What happened? I jumped and hurt my ankle. What happened? I jumped and hurt my ankle. C. Listen. Sing along. What happened? What happened? I jumped and hurt my ankle. I jumped and hurt my ankle. What happened? 
What happened? I played badminton and hurt my back. I played badminton and hurt my back. What happened? What happened? I played tennis and hurt my shoulder. I played tennis and hurt my shoulder. What happened? What happened? I played basketball and hurt my neck. I played basketball and hurt my neck. What happened? What happened? I fell and hurt my elbow. I fell and hurt my elbow. Pronunciation tip. In natural English, and sounds like m.、Mm. Listen. He jumped and hurt his ankle. He jumped and hurt his ankle. He jumped and hurt his ankle. Now listen again and say. He jumped and hurt his ankle. He jumped and hurt his ankle. He jumped and hurt his ankle. In natural English, and sounds like m.、Mm. Listen. He jumped and hurt his ankle. He jumped and hurt his ankle. He jumped and hurt his ankle. Now listen again and say. He jumped and hurt his ankle. He jumped and hurt his ankle. He jumped and hurt his ankle. New words. Listen, point, and say. One, hit. Two, kick. Three, move. Four, fast. Five, hard. Six, well. Hit, kick, move, fast, hard, well. Listening, listen and circle true or false. Two, you have to move very fast so that the other person can't hit you. Two, you have to move very fast 
so that the other person can't hit you. 3. You have to try and kick each other very hard. 3. You have to try and kick each other very hard. 4. To do well at Vovinam, you have to practice a lot. 4. To do well at Vovinam, you have to practice a lot. Useful language. You have to kick a ball hard. You have to run fast. To play soccer well, you have to practice a lot. You have to kick a ball hard. You have to run fast. To play soccer well, you have to practice a lot. Listening. Listen and write. Look at the form. Listen. There is one example. What's your name, please? My name's Bill Smith. Smith? S M I T H? That's right. Can you see the answer? This is an example. Now listen and write. One. And how old are you, Bill? I'm 11. Pardon? I'm 11 years old. 2. Have you hurt yourself? Yes, I have. What's the matter? I hurt my arm. Ouch! 3. What else? And I hurt my back. Your back? Yes, that's right. I hurt them both. Four. How did you hurt your arm and your back? When I played basketball, I jumped and fell on the ground. Playing basketball? Oh, dear. Now, listen again. Song. Listen. Sing along. What are you going to do after school? After school. I'm going to watch TV with my friends. After school. You shouldn't watch TV. What are you going to do after work? After work. I'm going to play baseball with my son. After work. I usually play baseball with my son. But when it rains, that's not fun. So sometimes we watch TV. What are you going to do on Sunday? On Sunday. You should go bowling with me. On Sunday. No. Once I dropped a bowling ball and hurt my foot when I was small. So I never go bowling at all. Especially.
silly. Oh.